Normally, when someone tells you to get your head out of the clouds, it can only mean one of two things. Stop daydreaming about things that'll never happen, or quit smoking in your mother's basement. She's worried sick ever since you got fired from Denny's. Go out and find a job at another Denny's because that's all you're good for. Well, Dad, I hate Denny's. I'm destined for greater things, Arby's for one, and reviewing games online for another. And one of the biggest rumblings in gaming right now is that the PS5 may be rolling out with cloud compatibility like no other console before. Thanks to the Cracker Jack team here at Segment Next, we've got all the juiciest steaming bits of news as to what this could mean for the future of console gaming, gamers themselves, and what exactly I'm going to do. Because, uh... Arby's just called back and uh, told me to get fried. It's rude, but good thing I've got another job to do. Hi, I'm Wes from Segment Next, and here's what you need to know. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to keep tabs on our future content. Twenty Twenty Vision, why so far away? It's been seven years since the release of the PS4, so it's safe to say we've been in a bit of Sony console drought for a little over a decade. This is especially notable given Sony's absence from the 2019 E3 conference, but it's not exactly surprising. Developers usually keep quiet on their new console until roughly a year before it's available on the market in order to generate hype and gather intel on what the public may be expecting from their newest installment. Many are saying to expect an unveiling of the PS5 and its features at the next E3 conference with a release date set for sometime in November or just generally fall of 2020. So it looks like this drought is going to last just a little longer. So get out your piss bottles or water, whichever your preferred liquid is, and hunker down. Cloud compatibility and what it means for console games. Cloud compatibility, whether it comes in the form of online game libraries, remote play, Cumulonimbus or any other myriad of features, it's not a new concept in today's modern gaming world. Most major consoles boast online libraries, and both PlayStation and Nintendo have rolled out remote play options with the Switch and the PS4 respectively. But, and this is a big one, the fact that Sony is being incredibly tight-lipped about the cloud capabilities of their newest console does raise some eyebrows and some questions, especially when you take into account that Sony is primarily a communications company, meaning that unlike Nintendo, they have an entire network they can use to piggyback the PS5's cloud features off of. It's notable, too, that Sony filed an application for an A1 utility patent for their cloud-based system. This could mean that the application goes through, Sony would have the full legal right to exclude the sale of other cloud-based systems from competing game developers they deem too similar to their own. Whether or not this gamble turns out to mean anything remains to be seen, but if it turns out well or even just okay, I wouldn't want to be anyone left behind the curve. Xbox in trouble? Speaking of the absence of curves, Xbox. Now the console may not be necessarily in trouble, especially given the amount of hype that surrounded the upcoming Xbox Scarlet paired with Halo Infinite both to be released sometime in the fall of 2020. One could see it as reasonable that if Microsoft can pull the Scarlet off and both the console and Halo Infinite are well received, it's going to be a huge boost in credibility for a company and a console and a game series for that matter that have grown stale in the public eye over the last 10 years. However, with Sony tinkering away in their underground laboratories, no one really knows what they're going to bring to the table next E3. Could be something relatively standard for the next console generation. Or it could blow Xbox out of the water, and the PS5 could become the dominant console on the market for the next decade to come. Either way, it's hard to shake the feeling that we could be on the verge of another great console war, the likes of which have haven't been seen since the days of the X-Bone and the PS4. I don't know about you, but I'm going to grab my trusty popcorn and watch the fireworks fly. That's all for now from Segment Next. I'm Wes, and I'd like you to know I hope you have a great day.